Right then folks, good morning. I'm back and feeling a little bit better now. I think I had COVID to be honest with you. But this is the job today. So we've got this lovely roof to do. Nobody's home, nobody's back till Friday. So um, we've got the place to ourselves, which is nice. We've got a special guest come in to help me out as well that you guys haven't seen for a while. So you should be here any minute now. I just need to run off and get some fuel. So we've got some cold and tired boys here for a Monday morning. And uh, yeah, this is the job. So quite easy, just a few dormers and the standard uh, multiple multiple scaffolding movement sort of thing but it should be quite easy we've only got one tower in I'm, I am underprepared guys I really am today but um, I forgot to get the other scaffold in and yeah whatever so but it's not I've got to watch out for again the back no dramas really one tower up one guy doing it from the ground and we should have an easy day we have got to do the lovely drive at some point that's going to be a really nice clean but because he's on holiday till friday um the cars can't be moved so i'm going to come back to do that so there's going to be a lot of half finished jobs but i'm in a big race to be honest folks because monday next week so a week from now i'm starting the biggest job ever um that i've ever done which is going to be a lot so i've got I'm going seven days straight, I think, this week to just try and clear this list up a bit because I'm trying to, to really feel bad for my customers and I'm, I've lost a couple as well because I'm just so late getting around. It's have, being down a driver with Kev leaving, just one van on the road every day. Local jobs, I can still get two vans too, but when it's a far away job, I can't get both of the vans there, which is why I had to get my dad down. Um, I've got a special guest today driving for this whole week as well. Um, so I'm hiring a driver, folks. Um, this job... I did say I wanted to do, I don't want to hire someone that's just going to be with me for a bit to learn and then go off and set up themselves. But that's what I might have to do for now till Christmas at least. So if anybody wants to work with me, so if anyone wants a job, this is going to be a temporary position potentially. If anyone wants a full forever position, then yeah, for sure. But I am accepting temporary positions now as well from now up until probably about the December the 20th, something like that. That's when I'll break up for the year. Um, more than welcome. I didn't offer this on the channel before because I know most of you guys that watch that are in the UK that are close to me anyway. It's got to be within probably 30, 40 minutes of Burton because of the commute times in the morning. Sometimes we leave really early as well. If you live an hour away and you're willing to make a drive down every day to do so, then that's on you. But yeah, so ideally 30 minutes, 40 minutes, something like that would be the best. Um, the reason I didn't before, obviously, is because, you know, if I'm going to spend the time training somebody up, I kind of want them to stick around for a while, <laughs> you know, so I can, because the first few months of having someone on, you're kind of losing a bit of money. Um, but at the moment, money's not my focus. It's just catching up with my work. I've got so much work on and it's impossible to get it done when I've got two boys that work for me that don't drive. So they're working on their driving, but it's going to be a while. It takes a while to get tests and stuff. So anyway, if anybody wants a job, let's do it. So I'm, there's going to be special guest has arrived there's going to be an email link in the description below you can apply through there basically just send a little cv off if you've got any previous experience let me know just a little bit about yourself age name where you live you know just normal basic stuff i'll read through them and i'll start giving people a ring sort of probably midway through probably a day or so after this video comes out i'll start getting in contact with people so again temporary is okay if you're planning to just get some experience for a couple of months I'm up for it, let's go till Christmas and then you can figure out what you want to do then if you're starting up by yourself. But if anyone wants an actual full-time job, let's do it. And yeah, stay with me forever, please, and drive my van because I need the help. Right, anyway, don't know where he's going, he's turning around. Let's uh, say hello to the special guest. Here he is. Is he a pro driver, reversing in? Let me in. Here he is, oh, welcome him really back. Silly. Get that copyright off. How's there it going? The man is back, Cameron's back everybody yeah. to save the day. But it's hot in here mate, it's steamed up already. <laughs> <Boiling>. <laughs> so yeah, Cameron's come down to help me out. Thank God, we need it. We need someone driving this beautiful old van. Hi, I'm Cameron. Right, nice to meet you. Brad. Elliot, nice so, to meet you. Cameron's Elliot. Cameron's come to whip you all into shape, so. <laughs> Yeah, Cameron knows kind of what he's doing, but obviously he ain't been here for a while now, so just walking through certain things, setting the scaffold on it properly and stuff like that. So um, I think I think you'll settle in pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah. good stuff. Right, I need to head off and get some fuel. Did you get fuel on the way? Yeah, I did. I need to run off and get some, so. Oh, how do you
Right then guys, the front is nearly done. There's just a little bit left to go there. Um, pretty quick turnaround, it's only taken a few hours to get that done. So there's still the other side around there that can be done from the ground. And I'm gonna start on the back now. How are you feeling being back, buddy? Yeah, <laughs> loving it. <laughs> oh, <sorry>. Flip. <laughs> 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 So Cameron's been set up in Manchester, he's doing his thing. So there's a video that me and him need to do together actually because I gave him a machine um, that I haven't done the video for yet. So I'm really sorry, it's from JCB. They sent me a machine to uh, to test out for them basically. And um, it's a brilliant, absolutely fantastic starter machine. So I gave that to Cameron like three months ago. So he's been cracking on. Um, slow start for the business, but it's a tough time of year for him. So he's ended up getting a part-time job as well, just for some extra income. Um, but then I was like, hey man, come and work with me. I really need the help. So he's actually being paid this time because he worked for free for the whole month. I tried to pay him at the end, guys, I really did. He just did not did not accept it. He said he's, he's learned so much and he was more than thankful for that. And I was like, damn man. So yeah, at least now he's getting paid and I'm paying for his Airbnb as well. So I really appreciate the help from him. So me and him are gonna do a video on a driveway soon where we're gonna test out that machine side by side with my machine. So it will give like, obviously my machine's nearly 15,000 pound, not just the machine, but uh, the whole system is nearly 15 grand, which most people obviously can't afford. So we've got a really nice budget starter set up for him. Um, yeah, and it, it's been working well for him, so I actually can't wait to use it. It's really powerful as well for the, for the price range. So yeah, we're gonna do a video on that anyway. So here's the back, let's begin. Um, again, I'm just doing all the hard stuff today and then easy stuff from the ground. So this shouldn't take too long. So we've got probably one, two, three, four scaff scaffolding movements here. Washing line, I hope I can take that down. Fingers crossed anyway. I don't want to have to build the scaffolding all the way down. I'll figure it out. But yeah, look at this, let's see, this is this is what I love about Cameron. I haven't told him to do this, look, and he's come around, he's cleared this drain out. I get, this wasn't even part of the job, we're not cleaning this patio or anything. But he's just, he's just like that, he's a good lad. So glad to have him back with me for a week. Um, let's go. efficient here guys these the start of the apex uh, dormers they're the hardest bits to get when you close up to them so wherever I can reach one what I'm gonna do One scaffolding movement down, three to go.
folks, back is nearly done. That is just what's left. So I've done a monster shift there. Edith has just started the little bit on the side. Um, so yeah, making good shape. What is the time? Sorry guys, time is 10 to two, so not too bad at all. We'll have all this cleaned within the next hour. Um, rinse everything down. I'll probably do most of the driveway as well. Um, might as well do what we can of that while we're here. So, cool. Right then folks, that is the drive done, kind of, obviously. Can't go there where the cars are. Still needs to be re-sanded as well. Um, but yeah, nice difference. Obviously we've got new blocks there, which are actually brand new. I think they've only been down for a few months. And then we've got probably 20 year old blocks here. So you can, they are exactly the same, but you can just see the difference, what weather does to them. Um, and it really does darken them over time. But yeah, not bad at all really. And then look at that roof. Let me get a better view for you. We're just on the last little bit now of getting rid of all the sand and all the muck. And uh, we need to obviously spool this road down as well, but that's it. So look at that for a difference. Very nice indeed. A perfect finish on that roof. So yeah, pretty big roof as well for one day. Um, with our track record lately anyway. So that's a roof this size is what I would aim to do in a day or a day and a bit. So a bit meaning there might be a little bit to finish off um, on a following day, like maybe the buyer side, which does need to still be done on this, um, or the driveway, for example, something like that. But all of the roof, gutters, everything should be cleaned in the day with two machines anyway. Um, we're more than capable of doing it, so. And yeah, there's the back. So the back's still drying out a little bit. We've uh, not long finished that. But yeah huge difference i mean this was black like really really dark i'll see if i can get a picture up on my phone save brad having to go through the editing to find a picture to slot it in so yeah that was it before let's zoom in there and then yeah that's it now so pretty cool very pleased with that good first day back i love starting a monday on a good note like that so Right, I will, we're not going to be back here now till Friday. He's not back from holiday till then, so um, he literally just needs to move the car and that's it. As soon as that car's moved, we can finish. So I'll come back here on Friday, finish this one off. Tomorrow we're starting a beautiful job. It's a massive house as well, um, near to where we've been before. So yeah, right, I'll let you guys know. I'll see you guys in the morning. Thanks for watching. Okay then, folks, it's Tuesday, another day, another roof, right. Anyone remember, you probably don't remember that job actually, it was when I first used Cherry Picker. So we cleaned that roof a couple of months ago now. Um, believe it or not, that is the same tiles as that one. Um, here's today's job. So another very big house for us to do. There is actually so much moss on this, it's not even funny. Oh yeah, Brad, we'll have that other camera up there with you as well. Oh, right, yeah. Um, and this is full-sided moss as well this isn't just moss on the one side like normal this is literally every side of the house is an absolute carpet um so yeah two days for this it's going to be a messy job it's me brad and cameron today he just didn't get up so uh he's lost his he's lost his picked up in the morning privileges again now he's gonna to have to walk to mine tomorrow um but yeah so we're just gonna make a good go of this today i'm gonna to aim to get all of the front done all of the garage done um and if we could make a start on the back that would be pretty good going, I think. And then tomorrow, finish off the back. 
quick buy side and we're out of here. So yeah, right, let's go. We're all set up already. I've been here for about nearly an hour now. So yeah, big tarp down. This is a great tarp folks, but I must admit it's a bit of a pain. We've got a love-hate relationship with it because it is just a bit too big, but yeah. Brad's on the cleaning today as well. Cameron's the grown man. He's doing all the gutters and getting everything sort of sorted so we can uh, flow nice and easy when we're cleaning. So here's our view from the top. Doesn't look too bad there, does it? But yeah, and it's even worse on the back. So yeah, no kidding, this is a, at least we've got a short pitch though, which is a welcome sight. So there's not actually much to do. Oh, there's a lot, but it's not a long roof, but I've got the sun right in my eyes, which is great. Right, let's go. Okay guys, wow, um, that was the least mossy part of the whole job and the amount of moss that just came off that is crazy. Everyone always asks, oh why are you working up the roof? Guys, when there's this much moss on a roof and you start from the top, you are going to be fighting through layers and layers of moss and it builds up like a big wall and you'll end up with like standing water on the roof which you do not want. If there is any imperfections in the felt below or any holes in the roof anywhere that you can't see, that wall is going to get in there. So it's not worth the risk. That's why I work up. Yes, it's slower. Yes, you have to rinse back down again afterwards. But the main thing is you're protecting that roof and you're not causing any water ingress. So that's why you work up. And then the moss is spread evenly on the roof then as you get up. There's no big clumps and then you try and rinse down as fast as possible. It's, it's very difficult. Um, yeah, it's just going to get worse from here. This is going to be a very hard job. Okay. guys if you ever seen anything like that in your life um i'm gonna leave brad to do this last bit i might have water look at this mess holy moly
folks, look at this for a garden. Look at all that space and it goes on a little bit far, I'll show you actually, instead of making you guess. There's the house from the back as well. So um, I've just done the garage, as you've seen there, I've still got the two sides for it. Um, but I'm hoping today, I mean, it's 10 past one now. I'll spend an hour doing the garage, um, that'll put us to two. I'll let the lads start cleaning all of that up and then I might come around here and then maybe even see if I can get that one done and then it, tomorrow it's only going to be that side one there so yeah we'll see I think it's still a lot of moss on the back but it's actually not as bad as the front so um, now that's where we're dumping all of the moss so <laughs> I'm going to ask the customer if he's got a wheelbarrow which would be handy. Um, if not, that's a lot of heavy buckets that we're going to be carrying down. But at least we can actually dispose of it here instead of trying to figure out a way to take that with us. But yeah, water supply is a big issue on this job. It's really, really slow. So that is slowing us down a bit. Um, yeah, but I'm just going to take the lead and probably just keep the one machine going. Um, I'll fill the tank up on the other one just in case. But to be honest, the cleanup for this is going to be brutal. So yeah, I don't know. Got to do them hanging tiles as well. I've got a quote to do across, across the road. I've got a quote to go and do as well. So I'll do that on the way after and that'll be nice. That'll be three we will, we will have got here then, which is cool. Might be the start of a new best road. So yeah, right, this is where I'm set up now. Let's go. Okay then guys, last stretch for the day. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna reach all of this from here, but whatever I can reach from here is gonna be it for the day. So yeah, nice dry moss on this side. Not that it makes a bloody difference when you're uh, pressure washing, but hey ho, and there's the garden again. I'll tell you what, I'm getting tired now. This, we haven't even started the cleanup yet. It's nearly three o'clock. Um, yeah, anyway, right, let's get a move on then. The lads are just starting to clean up now, so hopefully, We'll be out of here by half four, make it home for half five, six o'clock.
Right then folks, day two at this place. It's uh, eight o'clock in the morning. We're just waiting for Cameron to get here. Elis is back today. He uh, he got up today. So um, yeah, we're uh, a bunch of achy, tired boys today, but the job's looking good, which is the main thing. So we don't really have much to do, but we've got some intermittent weather that's due later on today. So we are gonna be in a bit of a rush to try and get the chemical treatment done on this before the weather comes. Ideally, you want the chemical to dry onto the roof. So. Like I say, I've got guarantees anyway, and I do that for a reason. Um, with our schedule being so busy, if we do a chemical treatment, it's on it's my own risk. So if it doesn't plan out, and within six months the roof starts going a bit green, that's what the, that's what my warrant is for. So I'll come back and sort it out then, hopefully on a day with better weather. So, but I think it'll be fine. I mean, these roofs are so clean once we're done with it. Um, yeah, just a, a light chemical treatment afterwards. It just destroys anything organic left on it, anything that's microscopic. So there's a good look at the side roof. I know we're on a wide angle here, so Brad might zoom in if he needs to, if you can't see it properly. Just that to do, I mean, what, we've got probably 40 meters squared there, Max. And then, yeah, about the same on this, to be honest with you. So one scaffolding movement each. I mean, that is probably an hour's work, maybe a little bit more just because of the moss size wise. If that had no moss on it, I bet you I could do that in less than 20 minutes, but probably less than that. But yeah, the moss is a killer. So we've mostly cleaned up. That's what, I mean, again, I'm a bit overstaffed today, but I need the van here, the other van. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna have the boys that aren't doing the cleaning today, just sorting out all of this. Like, you know, any mud that's left over, sweeping it all within an inch of its life. We've got, we accidentally got loads of mud on this grass which is a nightmare to get out. So someone's gonna have to be on their hands and knees picking all of that out, which is gonna be a fun job. Uh, side gutter there still needs to be done. Again, look, all this moss on the grass is not good. We don't leave it like that. So uh, it's kind of good I'm overstaffed so I can have a lad just, or two of the lads just sorting that out, getting it perfect, ready for a final rinse down at the end. So I've got them hanging tiles to do as well. So I need to try not forget about that. But yeah, without further ado, let's begin. So this video should have been two roofs in this one, um, which will have been Monday, Tuesday, and today is Wednesday. So, so I might start doing it from future, split the week up into a half, I don't know, or unless I get one mega job, I'll do that as one full video, but I don't know, we'll see. Right, let's begin. Okay guys, I am absolutely soaked. The wind was, you probably got it on the camera, the wind was just bringing all of that back towards me. Um, yeah, I can imagine how beautiful this roof would have looked when it was first done. Because there's like pastel colors in it, there's like sort of bluey tiles and pink tiles. Just need to do the hanging tiles on that yeah. thing. Oh, okay, those are gonna look fun and fresh for you. Thank you. 
Okay folks, that concludes the job. We're just packing up now. Um, I didn't really film much of that clean up, sorry. Um, yeah, please. So all the front has been biosided. Um, the garage is all done. It's just finishing off the last bit at the back now. So let's get a wide shot. Oh, yeah, I really overpacked these vans. So it's just taken us forever to load them again. So yeah, huge difference. Gigantic carpet of moss all gone. And again, that's a new extension over there. And that's that sort of like pinky bluey tiles at the top so it's slightly different um, obviously garage is different tiles and so is the lower bit so this actual half of the house was built later on um, I'll take you around to the guys at the back so boys around here are just doing the final touches clean those hanging tiles walls have all been cleaned down the patio has just been rinsed um, they didn't book us in to clean that so that's the reason we didn't give that a full clean and then Elias is just cracking on getting the by side up on there so let's Let's go and show you the mountain of mud that we've accumulated down at the bottom. I think there's no more barrels to go. There might be a tiny bit in one of the barrels, but I don't know how many trips we've done down here, but as you can see, it's quite the walk. Um, yeah, proper shoulder killer for sure. It doesn't look like much, man, when you come down here, but trust me, it was a lot. So yeah, there's the, the finished product of moss. So all of that was on one roof. And I mean, if that was dry, if we'd scraped it off, the pile would probably be three times the size, but obviously because it's wet, it, it, the weight of it sort of forces itself down. But yeah, it would be like this high if that was dry moss on there. So yeah, crazy, crazy job. Um, the time is nearly, is five to two. So not too bad. I thought we'd be out of here a little bit earlier, but because of the water supply with the tap, we couldn't, we usually we run like a tap splitter. So one tap will feed both machines but we couldn't do it um, and we couldn't do it yesterday either. So we just sort of had to have one tap feed in one machine at a time. And the same thing with the biocide. So I had to stop cleaning. Um, I had to stop the clean up so we could start the biocide on before it rained. Um, and so far, so, so good, no rain yet. So yeah, the I mean, vast majority of the roof has had chance to dry. So worst case scenario, if it starts, if it starts pissing it down now, it's just going to be the backside that we probably come and need to redo. Um, but you know, we'll see how it goes. So yeah. Thanks for watching guys and a goodbye from all the team as well though, I'm sure they'll say bye.